Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Today we are going to be making some custom zombies. Well, you might need these zombies because these are the Roblox standard zombies. Uh, they might be like a free model or something, you might not want a free model. So today we're going to be doing that today. Uh, so first off, what you're going to want to do is we're going to do a follow player NPC. Cause that's how you're going to make the zombie follow you. Okay, uh, you're going to get a character. I already got this simple one found from uh the toolbox uh so what are we going to do now is i'm just going to take away its pants and shirt and then we're going to take away uh change the body color so the head we want it to be like sea green then left arm on sea green as well left leg right arm left leg and the torso so uh, here is our zombie character right now. Let's just take away the hair because the hair doesn't do anything. Uh, we could change the face. So let's just get different face. Let's search it up. Let's go do images and search up zombie. Okay, so let's just take this face because this face looks good. Put it onto here. Take away that size and then, oh, whoopsie. There, now we have that face. So now let's see what we happen when we go in the game. There we go. The player follows us, and it could go away. It, could, it just follows us like this. We can add our own animations if you want. So now it's not that exciting. It doesn't do anything. So we're gonna go over here to the toolbox. Go back to models, and we wanna search up a kill script. Kill script. Um. Uh, yeah, kill on touch script. So we're just gonna drag this in here. Okay, so you have the script. Let's just change the health. We can do dot health equals humanoid dot health health, and then let's do I believe we would do a minus five. That should work. Now let's put this under upper torso and then it should work yes yeah, so and it'll go down by five every time okay so if you want over here you can change uh how far the zombie would chase you for until or when it will pick you up such as i'll just change it over here to 200 so it'll be i'll take you out of uh, 200 studs when you are there uh for the detect you to follow then we have a problem though uh, cause if I duplicate the zombie over here, uh, and I press play, uh, both zombies kill each other, which we don't want that. Uh, so this is just a simple fix. All we gotta do is go to the zombie's humanoid, uh, and change the humanoid, uh, name to zombie. Uh, because the script will detect when, uh, the, anything has a humanoid. Uh, the name humanoid. So if you just change the name of the zombie's humanoid to zombie, it will not chase it anymore. Uh, so you also want to change it over here so the zombie will continue to move. Some places you have to change it so the script can detect that that's the new name uh, of it. So yeah. That you can still kill it with uh, a weapon, like a sword. So, uh, yeah, it can also kill it with a sword. So here you go. Uh, zombie, don't kill me. Yeah, yeah. That, there you go. It's weapons are can still attack the zombie, so that's a okay. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed the video, everybody. I had a fun time making it. See you on the next video. Peace.